Hello everybody. Um, after I finished up the video for the P12R, um, I got a couple questions on how it's configured with uh, Lightarama. So I want to go over that real quick. Um, to begin with, uh, I wanted to show on my configuration, my P12R is set up at IP address 10.10.10.11. .10 um, so that is the IP that we're sending these to. Now, if I come into my string config, that shows you know which universe is going out of which output on there. Um, and so, in my sequence editor, uh, if I program anything to say universe two, that data is going to be sent to outputs ten and twelve. Um, so, we've already gone over all the configuration things on this. What I want to show is. Um, the Lightarama side of things. So if we open up just our sequence editor, come up here, edit, go down to preferences, and up to network preferences. Um, you get different tabs at the top. Uh, if you're, you know, using a traditional LR setup, uh, right here is where your USB adapter is shown and, and all that. So we're going to come to the DMX tab. Um, and then on the side, there's, there's two settings. Yours may look something like this when it comes up. Um, that is the simple setting. Uh, we want to click right there where it says advanced and that will open all this up. Now this is showing what I have configured just for my test cycle, just for the strings that I've been, been running outside through the weather for the last couple months. Um, this shows uh, universe 1 for my links dongle, that's anything I'm doing inside. And then uh, 12 universes, number 2 through 13 for the 12 universes on the P12R. So if I click on one of these, that opens up a box. Um, and this is very, very easy to set up. Um, as you see, I'm specifying that I'm going to use E131. Um, I'm going to specify the exact IP address, the 10.10.10.11 of the board. Um, and for now, where I'm only running um, a couple of these, I'm finding that this is a better way to do it. When I have multiple controllers um, out in the yard next year I'll probably switch those over to multicast just to minimize the amount of traffic on the network um, and that's something to kind of consider as you want to grow um, multicast becomes more and more important um, as far as I know the P12 is the only or the, the Joshua systems are the only ones that support multicast currently um, I think there's some additions planned for the other controllers, um, but there will be some limitations with that as well. So that's it. That's, that's all I've done to set this up. Um, if I come and open up a uh, sequence in here, um, here we go. Um, if I come up into my channel configuration, um, this is set up with about four universes of pixels. So you can see I've got some things that are specified universe one, um, two, three, and four. Um, so let's look at what's universe two. Um, if I hover here, that should pop up. Yes, I believe all of these. These are some candy canes. Um, and yes, those are set up on Universe 2. Um, so if I look at my editor, my animation window here, um, this is what's sequenced right now on it. Um, Because my P12R is set up um, for this output number 12 to be uh, universe 2, everything that's in those candy canes will be playing on this output. I um, also wanted to talk about these real quick. These are the breakout boards, uh, the PPX stuff. Um, what these are used for is sending pixel data over longer distances. Um, so in this case, I've got just a short Cat5 cable, but you can go. Um, I think he's uh, told me that they've done up to 200 feet on Cat5 with these. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the output from 12, feeding it over here into this uh, sender breakout board, 
and it goes down the Cat5 cable to a receiver board. Um, and the receivers are really small, very simple, very easy. Um, I actually just told Ed what I was using them for. He sent them to me with the jumpers in place. But uh, you have lots of different options for configuration on, on these. Um, it just kind of depends what, what you want to do. So pretty neat little items, um, very cost effective. And then as you'll see here, I've got my little string of uh, 12 volt 2801 square pixels here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. And I've got it muted because YouTube gives me hell anytime I put music on anything. Um, so you can see here's the pixel effects running on the screen, the red, white, all that good stuff. So if I play that, let's come up here, we'll go make sure our control lights is checked. And then we'll come down here and we'll start our control panel. Um, now as soon as control panel opens, I get the little pop-up message and I should have an icon here at the bottom of the screen. Pops up um, and it's telling me it can't find my, my links dongle probably because it's not plugged in right now. Um, let me refresh that just so it's not confusing. Alright, there we go. So our control panel is now opened up and it's showing me that it's connected to universes uh, 1, my links adapter down here, all the way through universe 13. So everything that we set up in our network configuration is now open and later on is connecting with that. Um, so we have our P12R. I've got a single Cat5 cable running up to my computer. Um, my workbench is a mess because I'm building more RGB strobe lights. Um, but if we go ahead and click play now, these, these should run in that candy cane pattern. So let's go ahead and try that out. There you have it. So the red and white there, that's just playing exactly what these candy canes are doing on the screen here. So like I said, it, it really is very simple, um, fairly easy to configure. Um, it just, uh, just making sure that whatever universe you have set a channel to, um, that that universe in your network preferences um, is pathed to the IP address of your pixel controller, whether that's a, a P2, P12, whatever. Um, and then inside of your pixel controller, um, telling it which output you want to send that universe to and what type of pixels it is. So again, very easy, uh, very simple to set up. That's why I went with these. Um, it's very easy to, to reconfigure it if you change something. Um, and it just had lots of options for me. So um, if you have any questions on the P12 um, or these breakout boards, um, there's some very good manuals on the ACL forums that uh, Fast Eddie was kind enough to put together for us. Um, and I believe there are some, some new manuals on the way for some of the new controllers as well. Um, but hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how this whole system works. Um, the other thing with the extenders um, is that these also have a voltage regulator on board. Um, so that means I can feed uh, 12, 24, even 36 volts up here um, on my controller out to my extender so that I can run higher voltage and keep my amperage low. Um, so I'm not melting my Cat5 cables uh, over the extension. And then at the receiving end here, it'll knock that back down to 5 volts. So I can run you know, a, a string of pixels off the end of my receiver um, and not, not have to worry about the voltage drop or the length that I'm running from, from my controller. So you know, a, a star at the top of a megatree or something, um, it's kind of what, 
what this system is engineered to, to handle perfectly. So if you got any questions, uh, comment or shoot me a message.